Okay, so I want to do a brief tutorial, uh, kind of a rough tutorial on how to record your uh, Magic games or other games on uh, using XSplit Broadcaster. Now, I like, um, excuse my daughter uh, making noise in the background, but um, what I like is I do like, uh, I like recording games, I like sharing them, because, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of time to play Magic or play any other games, but you like to watch it or you like to learn some stuff or, you know, it's just what you choose to watch on YouTube or whatever. And I just want, and if you like the broadcast, or maybe get into it, maybe I, I thought I'd do a little tutorial so that you can see how it's done. So, here's a basic tutorial. Um, this is XSplit. You have to sign up for account. Okay, so right now I have it set up to um, to recording a magic game. I'm watching someone play. It looks like you know, they're playing. They're playing standard right now. And um, if you uh, I'm going to bring XSplit into the picture, but the problem is, oh, I have XSplit right here in front of you. And so you can see how I can select uh, the different layers. So I have there's StarCraft that's a, well, that was open, and then I have Borderlands that I was playing earlier. So I can record those games and broadcast them on Twitch. So this is basically how you do it. First, um, you go to File, and then you add game. Usually the game has to be running. Now, uh, those are typically for DirectX games like, you know, Borderlands, StarCraft, Need for Speed, stuff like that. If you want to record, like, um, Magic Online or just even web browsing for that matter, like kind of what I'm doing now, um, you're just going to want to select Magic. And you can't see, or oh, you can see Magic right here, screen window is selected. Uh, I can click this and you'll see it disappears. Because you see everything here inside this black well from this corner to this corner is what's being broadcasted on Twitch or or is being recorded through XSplit Broadcaster and that's what I'm using so I can take my camera off I can take this off so I can take the sound off I can I think I can change the volume on how it's being recorded um, you know if I need to pick my nose or whatever make some noise or uh, something happens I can click this here or like this. I can pick this here to take off the, um, you know, the Logitech camera, so you can't see me, but you can hear me. Or if I want to take the sound out, my wife wants to ask me something, I can take the sound out, just like that. All right, so that's some basic overview of like this little process here. But how to broadcast? Okay, so after you sign up for your account, I'm assuming that you. Once you go through the sign-up process, you pay for the application, you sign up, you get XSplit. After you get XSplit, you'll, you'll see this screen that you see here. Every time you open the application, I'll just open Explorer. And uh, actually, Explorer doesn't show up. It's basically a screen window. So, you one game. Okay. So, you're going to go to Broadcast. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Local Recording. Or you can go to Edit Channels. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but I'm just going to go to edit channels. Okay. Now, see, there's local recording and uh, uh, the Justin TV or whatever broadcasting system you use. Now, uh, if I want to just turn it on, all I would have to do is just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and start recording right now. Local recording. So now I'm double recording. I'm also recording with Camtasia, which is what I'm doing. How I'm doing this video, and then I'm also local recording with um, uh, with XSplit. This is basically recording to your hard drive, but it's not being broadcasted because this up here, Justin TV, hasn't been selected. So I'm going to click this away, turn off local recording. Then I'm going to click on Justin TV. Now it's recording to Justin TV. Take Justin TV out. It's not, it's, or it's not recording, it's recording or uh, broadcasting to it. So as it's broadcasting there, you know, as people can go to website and you know, watch you play or watch you, you know, do the, the gaming or whatnot. Uh, to set it up, you just go to Edit Channels. Then you go over here to um, Justin TV or you just add. And you say Justin TV Twitch. And then you just put your username here, password or stream key. Okay, uh, channel, not too familiar with this. Basically, you just need your username and password. And then you can adjust the file setting. I typically like to use um, MP4 because it's a more, uh, I just like the file better. And you would set that up, actually you won't set it up on here because Twitch is broadcasting. You would actually set that up on local uh, local recording. So edit here. So remember, local recording is um, where you would be.
be saving it to your hard drive. Typically, has two, it has two choices, FLV and MP4. I like MP4 files better. And then you can set the settings. Now, you need a pretty fast computer, or depending on what your setup is. You can see here, you know, if it's on slow, you need a monster CPU, super fast for small CPUs. So it just depends on what you got. And this adjusts the sound quality. But remember, local recording means saving to your hard drive. Broadcasting means, you know, on the work. Justin TV is basically recording to uh, a live stream. There's other there's other choices here like Ustream, O3D, and whatever you're familiar familiar with. I'm most familiar with Justin TV. I'll click cancel here. So that's just a basic overview of how to set it up. All right, since I'm already making this video, I wanted to add this one little piece. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and Oh, well, when I first opened XSplit, this is what it looked like. It looked like this. I had this. Let me close all these windows here. So uh, it looked like this. And I'm like, how do you change? How do you make this bigger? So I went over here, view resolution. I got bigger, which is nice, but it still didn't fill up the screen. I go ahead and went put up my uh, HD my camera here. Um, but what happened was it's just pretty simple. You just got to drag and, and and scroll it like that, and you can see it. And then I had trouble selecting this, so these are layers here. You can see it just goes in a layer. So if you see here the uh, Logitech HD camera, if I just go over here and then I click up, I'll make it go up, or I can make it go behind, just like that. Or if I wanted to, I can actually create another instance, which I actually have right here, iTunes. And I don't know why iTunes is not showing up. Let me see this here. iTunes is right there. Okay, so I oh, because iTunes is minimized. That's why I look like that. So now iTunes maximized, and uh, which is kind of oh. So this is basically one instance. This is one instance here. Um, what you're what you're seeing is something kind of funky because XSplit is in here. Let me move this over here. It's actually no room. Okay, there you go. So let me shrink X split view resolution. This is just view. This actually doesn't affect the recording. So there you go. So let's say I have two different applications, which is kind of cool because they don't exactly see your entire desktop. You know, so you have to worry about like having to clean up or whatnot. So you can see like there's Tony Robbins here, or my, what I'm listening to, and my self development, and I got over here um, Magic Online or whatever. Okay, I hope you uh, liked this video. If it was helpful for you, please uh, click like. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you uh, find my information uh, informative and you like it, uh, click so subscribe as well. It helps me out. Um, if you do like, uh, if you did like the video and you learned something from it, and it was useful for you. Uh, please make some comments, or if you hated it, make some comments. Uh, I want to make a better one, but. I figure it doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes you just want to learn how to use XSplit and you want to record your magic games. You know, and that's all you want to do. You're not trying to, you know, do anything, you know, super high end for like work or some business presentation. You just want to just share what you're doing with your games and you want to broadcast them on Twitch. And I just wanted to make a quick video on that and I hope it was uh, helpful helpful for you and you got to, to learn how to use it.